Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a deep, deep cleaning of your Ninja Creamy ice cream maker. A little less than two years ago, I bought the Ninja Creamy ice cream maker when it had just come out. Previously, I had the Dash Mini ice cream maker, and that was one of those slow churn sort of ice cream makers. It didn't work all that great for me, and then I knocked it off a counter and then it didn't work at all. So I got the Ninja Creamy. Since I released that review video, I have continued to get questions from my viewers asking me, do I still think it's worth it? Or do I think it's worth it at all? Well, I think that's gonna vary from person to person. We use it probably twice a week. Now, if you're the sort of person that likes doing break-even analysis, I would say probably no, because you have to eat an awful lot of ice cream to make this worth your money. If, however, you like the idea of making your own ice cream, whether that's from the creative process or just knowing what ingredients are contained within it, then I think probably worth it, especially if you can get a deal on it. And I know that from time to time, Costco has a bundle with it and a couple of extra pint jars. And from time to time, it'll be discounted fairly deeply on Amazon. So keep your eyes open. Now, I'm not sure how long I had the Ninja Creamy before I started picking up a little bit of a sour smell from someplace in my kitchen, which I eventually sniffed out and determined that it was coming from the Ninja Creamy. Now it's worth pointing out, we clean our Ninja Creamy after every use, all the different parts, but there are some places where ice cream can get some little nooks and crannies that aren't quite so obvious, and that's what we're gonna cover in this video. So not just a surface clean, but a deep clean. Now, before we get into the deep clean, I just want to explain how the Ninja Creamy works. It is essentially a consumer version of the PacoJet, which is a commercial product used to make ice cream or basically any sort of frozen powder. It's kind of like a drill press where the drill moves down very, very slowly, and there's a blade at the end of the drill that spins very, very quickly and makes these micro-thin shavings of ice or powder. The problem is that very often that ice or ice cream gets caked up on to that little auger mechanism. Additionally, you can get some of that gunk down inside the grooves of the blade, as well as some that leaks up into the locking mechanism for the top of the blade, as you can see right here. One of the things that I didn't realize for probably close to a year is that the gasket on the inside of the cap can pop out. And as you can see, ice cream gets stuck in and around that even if you're cleaning it with a toothbrush. So for the deep clean, I'm gonna start with one of the pint containers filled with fairly hot water and just one drop of dishwashing solution. Pop in my blade, snap on the lid, and then I'm just gonna do a standard ice cream run on this just to kind of blend it up get the water warring around and give everything a bit of a power wash here with that hot soapy water this will help loosen up some of that crud that's up around that auger all right pop this off and as you can see the auger is looking a little bit better it's loosened up all of that stuck on cream so now i'm going to take a toothbrush and just finish the job Kind of working it all the way around. Wipe that down with a paper towel, and that is looking very good. Next, we move on to the lid. I'm going to start by popping out the blade here. And if you've got a, the right sort of toothbrush, you can kind of get in there and clean that a little bit. Then I'm going to pop out that gasket that I mentioned before. And you can see even on the underside and insides of the gasket, there's some stuff that you're just not going to reach with a toothbrush if it's still in place. So we're going to give that a good rinse and wipe down. After giving that a good rinse, we'll move on to the lid. And I'll get in there with a toothbrush all around those edges where that gasket was, the interior locking mechanism for the blade, flip it over, hit the top of the blade lock. I'll open the blade locking mechanism, see if I can't get in there a little further. And then I've got these straw cleaning brushes. There are a couple of holes on either side of the lid of the creamy that you can get into, kind of jab at it from both directions. Stuff will build up in there, as you can see, that just normal rinsing doesn't get out. Finally, we'll rinse it all off. 
top and bottom. Put our gasket back in. Snap our blade back in. And give this one more rinsing spin. Now when I do it this time, because I don't have any soap in here, you'll really be able to see how we get that Paco Jet sort of action as the blade whirls down through the water. Pop it off, and there we go. Now you may notice because of the vortex that's created by that blade, it doesn't appear that a whole lot of water is getting up onto the shaft that, that goes down, sort of the drill press part of it. Now one of the ways around this is you can set it to spin slower, and you do that by choosing the mix-in setting. It would be great if there were some sort of a maintenance button on the Creamy that you could press that would just extend that sort of push rod down so you could make sure that it's clean. Unfortunately, there isn't. And we'll give everything one final wipe down here. Dry out our pint container. And I'm using a Q-tip here on the blade just to get all the little nooks and crannies. Finally, wipe off the lid. So now that you've done the deep cleaning, my recommendation is at least every other time you do a batch of ice cream, you do sort of a light version of this. Meaning, take a wet paper towel and wipe down the little auger grooves on the end of the push arm. Remove the gasket from the lid when you're cleaning it. And use one of those little brushes to get inside the nooks and crannies on the interior of the lid. But now that it's clean, I'm going to make some mint chocolate chip ice cream for my grandson. I will include a link to the drinking straw brushes, cleaning brushes, down in the description below. These things are very handy for all manner of cleaning jobs. I highly recommend them, whether you have a Ninja Creamy or not. But that is going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, please click that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, tap that subscribe button, then hit the bell to turn on all notifications. And if maybe this saved you a little time, a little trouble, a little bit of money, click that thanks button. Buy me some more ice cream. And thanks for watching.